My wife wanted some um, running headphones. Now I didn't want to spend a fortune, but I didn't want to get something that's really rubbish as well. You want to have some decent functionality and of, obviously some decent sound. So I've got these, these are come, you know, they're, they're well reviewed and these are Anchor Sanko Spirit X. I think they came out last year, 2019. And uh, so they came, they came yesterday uh, and yet, here's everything they come with. So they, there's the box they came in. Not that I, again, I've mentioned before, who cares about the box? A lot of people focus on the box it's in. The box is going to go in your cupboard or in the bin. Who cares what the box looks like? It's how good the headphones are. So, uh, headphones are here. They clip over your ears. They come with loads of different spare parts for your earpieces, for the earbuds, so you can make adjustments here so they fit into your ears properly. It comes with a handy little carry case with a carabiner clip. So you can just clip that onto your belt buckle or whatever. Um, it is a micro USB, not USB-C, but hey, you know, they're 30 pounds. What do you expect? And uh, so far, I've been quite impressed with them. They've got an IP68 waterproof protection rating, uh, which is dust and dirt resistant. So you can basically put them a, a meter under water for half an hour and it'd still be fine. Not that I recommend you doing that, but to have that rating on a, a 30 pound pair of headphones is it, pretty good. And also they've got an 18 hour playback time. There's not many headphones can boast that. 18 hours. Okay, it takes 15 hours to charge, but once you've got that 15 hour charge, fully charged, bam, you're ready to go for 18 hours. So, you know, unless you're running a couple of marathons a week, a week they're gonna last for quite a while. The, control, that's, uh, the controls are pretty easy, really straightforward to uh, get it connected. You just press and hold that button until it comes on. Blue light flashes, connect via Bluetooth. And even though it's not um, voice controlled, these functions actually work pretty well. So if you want to, um, if you're playing music and you want to play and pause, you just press that middle button there, and that middle button then. Let's get that closer for you and uh, focus that in. So that middle button then will play and pause. Okay, if you press and hold uh, the plus button, that'll forward to the next track. If you press and hold the minus button, that'll go to the previous track. If you just if you just click it once, once uh, that'll just turn the volume up. So once turn it up one bit, and if you wanted to get it to the full volume, just keep click, 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 click. And obviously, if you want to turn the volume down, you just click the minus. Okay, and uh, if you want to answer your calls, you just press that to answer, press that to end. And if you want to reject the call, you just press and hold that for one second. And also, um, which is good, is you can actually use your assistant on your phone, which I thought was, uh, for a £30 pair of headphones, it's pretty good. And all you do is press and hold that middle button. And I've just demonstrated that for you now. So I've got my phone here. So all I do is press that and hold that for one second. And that comes your assistant. How is the weather today? With forecasted high of 24 and a low of 13. Right now it's 24 degrees and mostly sunny. Don't know if you could hear that. I, I just put the headphones up to the to the microphone so you could hear what the, the assistant was saying. And lastly, how do they sound? I was very surprised how decent they sound for a £30 pair of headphones. Um, they're just really, really good. I mean, look, they're not gonna be top spec or top end, by no means, but for the price, they sound very good. And I gotta say, I don't think you, you couldn't buy a pair of headphones for £30. Probably you couldn't buy a better pair of headphones for £50 or under. And these are the best pair of headphones you can buy for under 50 quid. They might not be earbuds, but they're really, really good. And boy, do they stay in your ears. They just don't move. And I'll give you a demonstration of that in a second. So I've got the headphones on. Uh, look, they don't have any noise reduction. You can't expect that for £30. Uh, but it's really hard to hear myself. And they do hold up the noise pretty well. So that's not too bad. Um, and like I said, they stay in your ears incredibly well. With this over there and the holding bits in the, in the earlobes, 
uh, in the ear canal, it really holds it in nice and tight. And I can demonstrate that now. I'll try and demonstrate it as best I can. Here I go. What the f are you doing here, you f <sighs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, they, they haven't gone anywhere. They're just still there, stuck in exactly where they were before I started. One thing I will say, which is a bit of a downside, is that you have to get used to the controls are here. So you have to kind of feel your way uh, for the controls, which once you get used to where they are, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like I can feel that's the forward button, the middle button and the back button. So you can do it, but it's a bit hard when you're not looking at it. But once you get used to using them, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so that's my review with the Anchor Sound Core Spirit X. Um, probably one of the best headphones you can buy for under 50 quid. Uh, they're pretty damn good and I thoroughly recommend them.